What up everyone? It's finally that time. Trapping season is back. And while trapping season's been open for a couple days, I honestly don't have any. Oh wow, that does a lot of smell to it. I don't have any traps out yet. So being that the rain has stopped because it has downpoured the last like two or three days. Pretty much since traffic season opened, it was a downpour every day. Or we're gonna set out our line. If you guys were here last year, every year I use some weird bait that's not sold or advertised as being a trapping bait. Why don't we just go with the actual black licorice? This spot will work nicely. Tag. All that good all right so we're actually at the cemetery property that i'm allowed to trap i figure this year why don't we take some of the raccoons off it as well i know my parents live close by and they've had several raccoons on their property the last few months so we might as well get rid of them that way they can stop tearing into my parents garbage we could just set on my parents' property, but I feel like I'm gonna have a little bit better chance here. As always, I'm gonna run two lines, well, two types of lines at least. I'm gonna have my everyday line that I check every day. And I'm gonna have a secondary line. And that secondary line is gonna be like really far into the woods and I'm gonna check and set that on a weekend basis when I don't have to go to work so that way I can go a couple miles back in we'll see what I can catch back there I also plan on doing a lot of overnights this year I'm gonna take you up to an area where I can beaver trap once it gets time for the beaver trapping and we're gonna stay overnight boy yes the fluffer is with us okay let's go find the next spot Well, this one we're good ways away from any houses we've got a pretty much abandoned uh, railway it's gonna be a natural highway for any animals that are coming through like I said we're focused on raccoons right now since I know this is town property. Here we might as well go right ahead and check it out. As you can see, this gets used quite a lot by people with their four-wheelers. I can see a trail that does go in right here. So I want to set as close to that trail as I can while still being able to pick up anything that's cruising through out here. Looks like we might have another trail that goes up in right there. Let's go with this one. Not gonna be able to get off that just far enough off the road or off the railroad tracks where people going by on their four wheelers 
shouldn't be able to readily see it. Honestly, it's just to avoid trap theft. Yeah, we'll drop that right there. And drop a pin on it. Mark my location. Onyx even has this pretty awesome little trap icon. And good to go. We've got this spot, which is going to be pretty obvious. Anybody who parks up here is going to be able to see it. We're mostly going to be hoping that they don't take the time to figure out what it is. I do have this one real long extension that I made. Which will be perfect. We'll call that good. You just happen to be out for a ride, aren't you? Yeah, so we're at the next spot. Honestly, part of the reason that I'm going to trap this spot. There's very little to do with like raccoon sign or anything like that. Because we're very close to where I killed my turkey this year. And the entire reason that I got into trapping was in order to help the turkey population. Turkeys are easily my favorite animal. And definitely my favorite bird. In my opinion, they're one of the coolest animals there is. So, in order to help their population, I got into trapping. Yeah, that'll work. I caught a raccoon here last year, so I know it has a chance to be If I remember right, I think I caught it last year on the first night of it being out. So hopefully, tomorrow, I'll have a raccoon to show you. Wiley Wallaby. Really delicious. I don't know. I've never tried it. Might be good. If you're into that sort of thing. Definitely has a pretty powerful scent to it. I'll give it that. come down here and get 16 ticks yeah I would dare say that <laughs> that gets used pretty often that's not strong enough to hold it You can see the definite trail that goes down through. Okay. We'll call that good. What puppy? Hi. So if you have any ideas for like a strange bait or lure, household objects that nobody really uses for trapping, uh, let me know. I did already get one request for like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I imagine that's probably gonna catch something. I don't know what, but I'm sure it'll catch something. But anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be setting some uh, of the coyote and fox sets tomorrow. Then this weekend we'll move on to Bobcats, and then on November 1st we'll set for the fall beaver trapping. This winter we're going to do a lot of overnight hiking trips, where we hike into a spot, set a bunch of beaver traps, traps for anything else that's in season at that moment. Dog's back there trying to get his vest off. And then we'll stay out, most likely camping on the ice and come back check on the next two days and then walk back to town shut my tailgate as i'm holding everything bounce around back here jeez talk about correct choices